Will he be up for this in terms of his appetite for it? Because uh, if he is, he'll be the first person, I'm pretty sure of that, uh, to go below 23 seconds at the SEA Games and maybe even go and attack that Asian record that he now holds. I think so. I mean, he, he broke 23 seconds. Um, he holds the Asian record at 22.94, I believe, 22.95. So he's the first Asian that's ever broken that. Um, we'll see what happens. You never know. Um, we're a 50 meter again. We're a good start, good underwater. He could very well break that um, 23 second mark. Right, so the first event about to start, and that is the start list of the grand finals. Lane number four, the hot favorite, Igude Siman Sudatawa of Indonesia. No one swam faster than him. In fact, he's 0.34 seconds faster than any Southeast Asian this year. Kwa Tung Wen will have his hands filled in trying to retain the title he won in 2015. He will, um, but I think from this morning's heats, all three of them, the top three qualifiers, were very, very close to one another, right? Um, so, again, it comes down to who has the best start. Um, that's going to be key from what I think. Um, and from the underwaters as well, Zheng has got amazing underwater kicks, so that's where hopefully he comes out first. Um, but I do know that the Indonesian swimmer has a very, very fast stroke rate. It's amazing how fast his hands can move, but at the same time, still be able to catch water. Right? A lot of times when your, hand go, when your hands move that quickly, it's hard to maintain uh, the water catch. So here we go, the athletes come out, led by Tun Tian Han of Malaysia, who won his national championships with a new national record. Well, not the new national record, but a new personal best of 26.12, and he's gunning after Alex Lim's national record of 25.67 seconds. So there he is to lead the field out. Just behind him, Singapore's very own Francis Fong, who did extremely well just last month at the Commonwealth Youth Games. In fact, clinching a bronze in this event. A couple of Vietnamese that we can watch out for as well, including the American Vietnamese just behind Sudatawa there, Paul Le Nguyen. He is probably the dark horse in this race. These swimmers very, very pensive and it is so very difficult, of course, coming out as the first race of the day, the first gold medal to be given out in swimming at these Sea Games. Boy, do these swimmers, I don't know about you, Gerald, but uh, these swimmers must be feeling some sort of nerves and butterflies in their stomach at the moment. I'm feeling really nervous right now watching <laughs> this race, right? Brings, brings back a lot of memories, but I think the first race is going to be extremely important, um, not just from a personal point of view, but from a team point of view too. I mean, if Zheng gets out there with a great swim, together with Francis, if they do well, you see the momentum really being carried over to the team, get the whole team excited, everyone's pumped up, and you see, we're going to see a lot of quick swims from, this, from the different teams. Tun Hyun introduced in lane number one from Johor, swimming from Malaysia, Francis Fong of Singapore, third already three times this year, not at GSC Commonwealth Youth Games, but also our national championships and our national age group champs, and here is the defending champion, Kwa Tseng Wen, the national record holder, he's in lane number three, he finished second in the national championships this year to this man, Igade Sudatawa. The only Southeast Asian to qualify for the semi-finals of the World Championships. Paul Le Nguyen swam at the World Championships as well, just 0.06 seconds behind Tung Wen's time. He's got a personal best of 25.50, which he clocked in finishing fifth at the Asian Swim Champs. Trang Du Khoi finished fourth at the last SEA Games. He's in lane number six. Kasipa Chokratin of Thailand's in lane number seven. He was the bronze medalist at the last SEA Games with a national record of 25.78. And Ricky Angawijaja of Indonesia, his personal best 26.39, which he set in Singapore at last year's ASEAN University Games. So it's all set for the Battle Royale of the 2011 champion that you see on screen now and the 2015 champion Kwa Tung Wen. This is only the third time that this event has been held at the SEA Games. And those two winners are in the field. In fact, four of the field competed in both 2011 and 2015. Start absolutely necessary. It will be at amazing upper body strength of Igade Sudatawa against the undying indefatigable spirit of Kwa Tung Wen or will there be a shock from the Vietnamese Le Nguyen in lane number five?
Tsuratara's time this year was 25.04 seconds and he is gunning his very best to become the first Southeast Asian to go below 25 seconds in this event. Kwatsung Wen has gotten off to a very good start and he's stroke for stroke with Tsuratara at the moment in lane number three. Tsuratara though just slightly ahead of Zheng Wen and he is pulling away now. The Indonesian, the missile is heading home. The Bali missile wants it badly. He wants to win back that title that he claimed in 2011 and he wins just ahead of Kwatsung Wen and Paul and Wen of Vietnam in third spot. So Igade Sudatawa, who was so disappointed at losing that title to Kwa Tung Wen in 2015, has come out tops again for Indonesia's first gold medal at the Sea Games in swimming. I think Chen had a very, very good start, but he just looked at um, Sudatawa's stroke rate. It was so much quicker than Chen Wen's. Um, so I think he's built as a sprinter, a pure out 50 meter sprinter. But, um, you know, it, again, for the 100 meter backstroke, I think it's going to be a different ball game. We're going to see Chen really be able to use a second, the second lap to, to catch up. Well, this was the start we were talking about, Gerald, from uh, Zheng Wen. And then from here on, around about to the halfway mark was when Sudatawa just took over and started propelling all the way home. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, his stroke rate is just so quick and it's amazing again how he catches the water despite that quick stroke rate. Well, he did say after the 2015 Sea Games uh, that he probably took his eye off uh, in this event and the 100 meters backstroke a little bit, took it for granted that he's the best in this region. And because of that, he started hitting the waters again and training non-stop to ensure that he kept that streamline, worked on that streamline as much as possible. And his big aim, Sudatawa, is to win in front of his home fans. That he can do it next year at the Asian Games. That is what he is aiming for. Much bigger dreams. But right now, 25-20, he has lowered Kwarteng Wen's Sea Games record by 0.07 seconds. So a perfect start to day one, first race, and we've already got a Sea Games record to talk about.